Hello, I am in my early 30s, a single mom, and I've moved back home with my parents. <laughs> Come join me. That's scary. Thank you, guys. You're so cute. No, that's not food. That is not food, I know, you little baby. Well, hello. I moved. If you can't tell, the scenery is different and it will be changing because I just moved yesterday. If this is seeming out of nowhere to you, you might have missed my last video last Monday or you watched it and it's still like, what the heck is going on? Because I did plan all of this within 10 days, which seems crazy, but I am a person that festers on an idea within myself for a very long time and then when it's time to take action i take action before i keep rambling i feel like i need to show you where i'm living this is the house this is the farm obviously you'll see a lot more of it throughout my videos and all that you're seeing now is just what i'm filming in the first two days that we're living here because i'm getting to a schedule and i want to post every single monday and just really get on back on track with my routine and our our connection because it's so important to me and when i was gone all that time and honestly the past six months i don't feel like i've been authentic and that just you can't you can't fake that and i feel like our rapport kind of dropped from what it used to be and i felt really bad and i felt almost distant from you guys and i want to eliminate that and now we are here my parents home i'm out of la my parents do not live in la and i would say i moved back home but technically i did not because i've never lived here before i did see in my other video a lot of comments being you know pointing to the fact that i move a lot and to that i say 100 percent true i don't think i've ever lived anywhere my entire life longer than two years i'm just very nomadic very adaptable and i do think a part of me would love to find a home home forever but that hasn't been in the cards yet and a move to me is nothing scary it feels very natural i don't ever really get homesick for anywhere and you know so even though i've never lived here before it's easily home i've been here a day it feels like home. P.S. You're gonna have to work with me in the next few weeks as I discover where the best lighting is, where I like to film. We're gonna go through this journey together, but also to my last video, a lot of people also said they have recently moved back home or they are thinking about moving back home in their 30s. I don't think there's anything wrong if you have a place and you are able to move back home with your family. I think that is a beautiful thing you're able to do if you need a mental health reset if you need a bigger village if you're going through a big transition in your life i feel very fortunate that i am able to do so i know a lot of people would love to and moving back home isn't a possibility but if it is a possibility and you're on the edge of it i think the benefits outweigh you know the fact that you moved back home failure to launch i am so happy with my choice it is exactly what i needed in this point in my life will i go back to la i do not know but i'm going to take you along this journey of where i am now and it's gonna be a crazy fun ride we got life at the farm my parents house uh, is at a farm we have pigs we have donkeys we have chickens we're in the middle of nowhere we can't even Uber, there's no DoorDash, there's there's nothing. We're in, you know, the, the boonies. I don't know if people use the boonies, like how I think the word boonies is. I'm from Santa Cruz, and the boonies was if you truck out to a party in the middle of nowhere. Is that a normal slang, or is that a Santa Cruz thing? Regardless, I'm excited to show you what this nice, slow, calm life will look like, what moving back with your family <laughs> looks like when you have a little one, and also, the next few months are gonna be particularly interesting because I'm gonna have to go back every other week or every week to LA for a few reasons and I don't have a home there so I'm gonna be living a very nomadic life. I'm either gonna be staying with friends or house sitting or maybe a hotel here and there if need be. There's no doubt there's gonna be a huge dichotomy within my life of a calm, peaceful nature and then the boom hecticness of LA and my friends out there and work out there 
and I'm gonna take you along with me. I will show you around the house and I need kind of your help on not exactly what to film. I already have a ton of really fun ideas. My family here does all home cooking and I wanna learn how to cook myself. I'd love to share what I learn. My mom, if you're an OG, she is a hoot and a half and she will definitely be making a cameo or two. She, every time I show her, she is just a fan favorite and I agree, she, she is the best. Oh, aren't they so cute? No, that's not food. That is not food, I know, you little baby. Piggies, night night. Be good piggies. Ooh, we have similar shirts, we're gonna have to wear them. The best, I'm currently trying to teach her the, the little like apple TikTok dance. Uh, just a little funny, silly thing to do. Like I just wanna live happy, positive, not care what people think, enjoy my life, just create things that bring me happiness and hopefully bring you joy and happiness as well. I want you to be able to watch me and be uplifted, inspired, entertained. I don't wanna come on here and be negative anymore. I wanna get back to my roots of when I first started YouTube videos and it was kind of more fashion oriented. I already have some ideas and I think that might live more on Instagram, TikTok kind of outfit of the days. That was like my bread and butter <laughs> probably 10 years ago. One thing on my agenda of making this space a home, a workable space is I have this bookshelf. Well, it's my family's bookshelf and it's earthquake proof to the wall. So she cannot move, but I need to decorate her in a way where I can do outfit of the days. I'm gonna move you back. Do, 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 do. You might not be able to see the vision right now, but if I film outfit of the days in that, you know, this format of Instagram, it could look really good. I definitely, don't don't judge it right now, but yeah, I need to, I need to figure that out. But we're gonna, we're gonna make things work because just look at my view for a second. Look at this view from my bedroom, okay? Things are looking up. Obviously, I don't share my little one or details about her life as much anymore. Little bits here and there, but you know, obviously I'm still a mom. That's a huge part of my life. And so whenever I have a tip, trick, hack, or just, you know, mom life in general, I love to share that. I love my mom community here. But I will say I've been talking to my mom friends and I have this thought myself of I don't find myself indulging in so much mom motherhood content as the first, I would say like three years of motherhood and also pregnancy. I just, everything I consumed was all motherhood related. And now I'm, not that I'm burnt out on motherhood, but I'm just, I'm in my groove almost that I don't really watch so much stuff in regards to that. I wanna see more fashion, more lifestyle, more stuff that brings me as a person outside of motherhood joy and entertainment. And I wanna create content like that because that's what I find myself consuming. I know people are probably super curious about the why I moved. Again, there are so many factors and some people did, you know, maybe hear a little bit of gossip here and there, but thank you for bringing it to me personally and like DMs and not spreading gossip or rumors or anything in regards to that because it's really unnecessary. So thank you so much for the respect and privacy. And I mean, I just, I share so much of my life anyways that, you know, you're not missing out on any of this drama. Honestly, I, if you want some drama, I would look at that whole like Clinton Kane Brooke Schofield drama, that's much more exciting than the drama in my life. All in all, I just want to be happy, like legitimately happy. And I hope that by you watching this content, this life of mine unfold, it brings you happiness too within maybe you take things into your own life or it just brings you happiness to watch it. I love you guys so much. Thank you for being with me all these years. I think it's been like, 14, <laughs> who's counting, and I will see you guys next Monday. Bye!